Okay, my college coach taught me this, and this is one of my favorite ways to make sure um, I'm getting my elbows in um, into a good position where I can get to an escape um, or some sort of reversal if needed. Uh, but anytime somebody comes inside of me, um, inside my arms right here, okay, I'm going to cross reach and peel the wrist, okay, and then pull elbow in on that same side. It's very common. Uh, here you're seeing it fast, fast pace. But every time an arm comes in, I cross reach with my opposite hand and I peel, I peel them out. So a fast looking drill kind of looks like this um, where he's constantly fighting inside and my job is to catch cross wrist, peel, elbow in, cross wrist, peel, elbow in, cross wrist, peel, elbow in. You can't do this drill enough because you're going to end up doing it from a lot of different positions where the guys put you down on your head. Um, up on your feet when the guy's trying to fight inside and you constantly got to catch that bottom wrist cross reach and peel and get your elbows in all right you really want to notice a couple things here okay I'm I still have nice pressure back okay but there's a wrong way to do this and a right way to do this the wrong way is when he comes inside if I reach with that same side arm okay there's a really good chance he's gonna roll it over get wrist control and be in good position Okay, so notice when he comes inside, okay, I'm catching with the cross wrist. Okay, my cross arm comes in and I peel it out. Cross arm comes in, I peel it out, my elbow comes back in. Okay, he reaches in, cross arm catches, elbow in, cross arm catches, elbow in. Okay, and I do that however much I need to. Once I get one side in, I'm probably good. Uh, but this is just a good example of what a drill would look like if a guy repetitively was fighting for inside position. You want to remember these key points, okay? When he comes inside, cross arm does the peeling. Not the near arm, cross arm does the peeling. Second key tip, elbow in. Make sure you have your elbow in. And third, don't forget, don't fall forward. Have some pressure back because pressure back is going to equal a nice stand up.